name is Keith Natto from Beesman Manufacturing and today we're going to talk about setting the pressure on your gas regulator. To set the pressure on a regulator, first thing you're going to do is remove the cap over the regulator adjustment. Once that's away, you can insert your screwdriver into the opening, turn it clockwise to increase your gas pressure or counterclockwise to decrease your gas pressure. Before you can make any adjustments to your regulator though, you have to have your manometer on your equipment to make sure you're setting the correct pressure. To install a manometer on your boiler, first thing you're going to do is shut off your gas supply. We're going to loosen the screw on the adjustment port or on the uh, incoming gas pressure port. One turn. Make sure our manometer is on and zeroed. And then we're going to install the hose completely over the test port. Once that's in place, we can turn our gas pressure back on. So you can see here we have about 12.3 inches of water column. Uh, for this particular boiler, we're looking for 10 inches of pressure dynamic. What that means is the pressure while the boiler is running. So to test that, we'll get the boiler running. We'll put this into test mode. Allow the boiler to light. Now our pressure has dropped a little bit. This is our dynamic pressure. If we wanted to increase that, we can turn our regulator clockwise to increase the pressure, or we can turn it counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. Once you've set that, you put the cap back on your adjustment, take your boiler out of test mode, Turn off your gas and tighten your gas for it. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, guys.